One legal expert told me that this was a trial that was one of the most important trials in Hong Kong at the moment because this law hasn't been used, hasn't been applied in Hong Kong since the handover. So there's no precedent of how long these jail terms would be. So everyone was watching this trial, wondering how long these jail terms would be. They could have got up to seven years. Um, two of the protesters got up to 16 months. Given this dates back to 2014, why is it all happening now? It is important to look at this in the context of what's been happening in Hong Kong over the past five years. They've taken five years to charge the leaders of the Occupy Central movement. And I think when you look at what's been happening in Hong Kong, you've seen the banning of a political party, the pro-independence national party. We've seen candidates being barred from running for office. And then a Financial Times journalist, he was expelled for Hong from Hong Kong because he held a talk by one of the leaders of this um, in pro Independence Party, and that was uh, unprecedented in Hong Kong. So when you look at what's been happening in Hong Kong in the past five years, what people are saying is that these sentencing is another indication of an erosion of the freedoms that Hong Kong enjoys, the freedom of assembly, the freedom of speech under the one country, two systems policy. Well, let's talk about that. If I were a person in Hong Kong and wants to organize a protest in the name of democracy, would I be able to do that? Under the rule of law and under the one country, one country two systems um, policy, it is enshrined that there is freedom of assembly. So, in theory, yes. And actually, there's a key anniversary that's happening in a few weeks. It's the June 4th anniversary, which was the 30th anniversary of the Tiananmen Square massacre. Hong Kong is the only um, territory in China which is allowed to commemorate that. And that's, a, that's supposed to go ahead. It will be interesting to see whether this sentencing galvanizes people to show up in more numbers, because actually, attendance at that uh, anniversary has been waning in the past few years. And just a quick question about the process these protesters have been through. Can we talk about the judiciary being independent in Hong Kong? Well, Hong Kong has one of the most respected legal systems in Asia. It's based on the British system because it was a former British colony. And Carrie Lam, the Hong Kong's leader, says Hong Kong's rule of law is more robust than ever. But actually, the government is about to pass a law that would extradite people to mainland China. And that, in theory, would allow dissidents in Hong Kong to be sent to China to face justice there.